Good morning, everyone. Chris here with Jager Bombs Fantasy Sports and Daily Fantasy Sports Rankings to bring you my Daily Fantasy Hockey Picks for Monday, October 18th. we got a nine-game slate tonight. Uh, looks like we've got five games uh, with a six and a half. The rest are totals of six. What I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to keep it short and brief. I'm going to go over my top stacks for cash, GPP, some of my favorite value plays, defense, and just kind of give you an overlook of the sheet and how things are evolving day to day. Um, so let's just jump right in here and we will have a look at some goalies here for today. Um, so on the goalie tab, we're going to see confirmed or projected. That's going to update automatically as those as that news comes in throughout the day. So stay tuned there. Uh, what we have is Eric Colgren, Casey DeSmith making their first starts of the year for Toronto and Pittsburgh, respectively. Um, Colgren's probably going to see some ownership tonight just simply because he's a minus 526 favorite going up against Arizona, who has been, you know, Fairly weak to start the season, to say the least. Um, but as the most expensive guy, probably going to reserve him mostly to GPPs for myself. My favorite goalie so far tonight is going to be Igor Shosturkin. The Rangers have looked good to start the season. Um, we'll go over and we'll have a look at them here real quick. So they won 3-1, they won 7-3. They had a tough uh, game on the road uh, in Winnipeg there, playing their third game in four nights, uh, which... We're going to talk about that a lot, uh, back-to-backs as well. I've added that to the sheet. I'm also going to be adding uh, third game and four nights to the sheet as well. I think that plays a little bit more um, in the early in the season when guys aren't maybe fully in, in game shape yet. Uh, some of them still kind of in preseason form, as we can kind of tell. Um, it did play a role there, but I think they get back on track tonight against a Anaheim team. Uh, minus 233 favorites here. Shosturkin is 2-0 and with a 9.35 save percentage so far this season, so he would be my number one goalie for sure tonight. Um, others that kind of maybe stand out, we've got uh, Ottinger going up against Winnipeg, minus 41 favorite. Frederick Anderson's probably going to be right up there as my number two, uh, minus 167 going up against Seattle. If we go ahead and look at Seattle here real quick, how they've started the season They've lost 5-4 in overtime to Anaheim, and then on the road they they went in and they beat Los Angeles, uh, which was a huge win for them, but then they dropped a 5-2 loss to Vegas. They play a very tough Carolina team that is good on both ends of the ice, uh, especially on the defensive end. Um, so I do like Frederick Anderson as a another top goalie, but Shesterkin is far and away number one for me. Moving over uh, across to the DK um, line combo stack tool, this is where you're going to find my top stacks every night. Uh, the big three right at the top, Toronto, Montreal, or sorry, Toronto, Pittsburgh, and Colorado first lines, definitely going to be looking at. Um, in terms of Toronto, we've got Matthews, who uh, very expensive, but he makes a payoff. I'm going to show you here why in a bit. Um, Michael Bunting and then Mitchell Marner make up that top line. All these lines combinations are early in the day. This is before some of the morning skates information has come in. So make sure to check back on this DK and FanDuel line tool um, and stack tool throughout the day, because as the morning skates come in, I update those line combinations, um, so things could change a little bit. But as of now, when I'm making this video, um, those are my top lines. Pittsburgh, we've got their line one of Gensel, Crosby, and Rackle. I like all those players today. I'm going to show you why here just in a second and how I kind of go throughout my research. And then we've got uh, Colorado one going up against Minnesota's defense that has been atrocious to start there. 14 goals allowed in the first two games. They may get back on track, um, but Colorado definitely makes sense here. 95. So right, they're all right around the same price. Um, Lacking in 4,900, McKinnon 7,500, expensive center, and then Ranton 71. So a couple things that I look at here and how I determine who's green, core play, blue, secondary play, yellow is a value play. Um, I really like to look at safety, especially for cash games. I'll look at shots, shot attempts. So if we jump in and we have a look at, let's go Toronto first of all, and we look at Matthews, what stands out, why I don't mind paying 8,800 for him. He's had five-plus shots in each game. He's got a block, which I'm not really too much looking at. Uh, I don't think the point production is going to be, you know, two points in three games. I think he's more of a point-per-game, 1.2 points-per-game type player. And with that elite shot volume in this elite matchup at home, um, I don't mind paying up for him. I don't think you have to go there, um, but you definitely can. Why I have Marner as a GPP play? He's just not getting name shot volume. Um, one shot, zero shots in the first two games, only three shots. In that third game, mainly because Matthews takes so many shots, he provides the high floor. Marner's the guy that I would stack with him for GPPs, stacking that top line. And then the other guy was Michael Bunting. Um, I just really like that price at 4K, and he has 
you know, he's not really there in terms of shot volume, but 4K pairing him with Austin Matthews really allows you to pay up for Matthews if you want to go that route. Cash games and for GPPs, I'm fine stacking all three of them. Something else I use the tool for uh, that you will notice here today is I have the all skaters tab. I have uh, sorted by lines and then by team. So if we scroll down and we'll have a look at Toronto specifically here. Let's jump up to Toronto. Here we go. Um, we got Matthews and I've talked about this in the past in the tutorial video. You can check that out on the YouTube channel. I look at not only just shots per game, which everything is in the advanced stats column is based off of a per 60 so that we can compare players a little bit better because all players, you know, have different ice times. So if we compare them on a per 60 basis, we can compare them a lot more easily. So looking at Matthew, 17.2 shots per game by far is the most shots on that top line and on the team outside of Nylander is right up there with him. Um, so we'll talk about Toronto too here in a second, but then I look at the shot attempts. So shots per game, obviously those are the ones that are, are on net or go in the net and then shot attempts. Uh, some people like to call it Corsi. That is looking at shots that are on the net, shots that miss the net and then shots that are blocked. So total shot volume, that's something I like to look at. Um, so guys that have, are getting a lot of shots, is it justified? Are they taking a lot of shots or maybe they just get a little bit lucky in the net? Not the case with Matthews. He's one of the top shot attempts per game leaders in the whole entire NHL right up there with, you know, Alex Ovechkin um, and some other players. Obviously, William Nylander is up there online too. We'll talk about that here in a second. So I definitely like that. And then looking at Marner here, um, I think his shot attempts are definitely going to come up. So if you want to consider him for cash, I think that's totally fine. He's only getting 7.7, .7, so 10 less shots per 60, but he's really not that much difference in terms of his shot attempts or Corsi per 60 here. So keep that in mind. We're probably going to see some positive regression for him in terms of his shots on net um, coming soon. But just with that price, the shots aren't there right now, so I'm going to reserve him for GPP only. Moving over to my second favorite, um, or sorry, in terms of second in projection, looking at the DK line combo tool here is Pittsburgh. Um, they're projected for 39.4 DK points on line two. You've got Gensel 7,800, Crosby 73, and Rackle 45. A few different ways that you can go about uh, this Pittsburgh line one, and what I like is the shot volume for all of them. So far, Gensel's got multiple points in both games. He's got six shots in both games, which gives him a high floor, high upside. Crosby's never going to be there in terms of the shot volume like Gensel. Uh, he did get seven in the first game, but only two. He's going to be, Crosby's going to be up and down in terms of that shot volume um, game in and game out, but he has huge upside. He's already got six points. Um, he's leading the league right now in terms of points, three points in each game. Um, so Crosby at 7,300 gives you a little bit, you know, 1,500 less than uh, Austin Matthews. He has a, you know, a similar matchup. He's not at home tonight, but he has a similar matchup and uh, gives you that little bit of a discount. You can go a little bit more balanced uh, fitting Crosby and Gensel in your lineup together versus Marner and Matthews. And then fitting that with Ricard Raquel, um, he's already got 10 shots. So this would be one of my favorite value plays, and I think an easy cash lock tonight at 4,500 on DraftKings. 10 shots, and he skates with those top guys. Now, if we go over to the All Skaters tab, and we scroll up and have a look at Pittsburgh here, and this is just a neat tool. And the reason I sorted it like this is because, one, we can see the lines together. We can compare the stats of everyone on Pittsburgh's team or on, on every team. But then we can also sort them out here and have a look. Um, so Raquel isn't on the top power play with Crosby and Gensel. But what I like about this for cash is if you go Crosby with Raquel or Gensel with Raquel, it gives you exposure to that top line together. And then it gives you exposure to both power play lines. I like this in matchups where teams are projected for four or more goals. Uh, high scoring games like that, getting exposure in cash games to their both of their top lines um, really helps spread out that exposure a little bit. So I do like Raquel, that price. He's going to be one of my top value plays on the entire slate. And I do like Pittsburgh um, a little bit more than Toronto just because of the savings that you get, especially um, from Crosby to Matthews. So I'm probably going to keep – Matthews is in play. I'm not going to say that he's not – he's in play in all formats almost every single night. But I do prefer Crosby tonight at that discount at center. Um, Colorado going up against Minnesota, who I talked about, was struggling quite a bit here. You've got McKinnon, 7,500. Rantanen doesn't get the same shot volume, so he's a GPP only for me. If I'm going with Colorado in cash games, it's going to be McKinnon and Lekkonen. Um, I like that savings, 4,900 here. Again, like pairing an expensive player with a value player on the same line. And if we go look at Colorado, 
specifically here on the all players tab. We've got Lekin and he does skate on the top power play right now. Um, so I do like that. Uh, all three of those top players skate together on the top power play as well. Moving on to my next stack, which is probably from a points per dollar perspective, as you can see here, the total of going with Pittsburgh's second line is only 15,100. That because Jason Zucker's only 3,100. Malkin's only 6,100. So he's even 1,200 cheaper than Crosby. And then Brian Russ, 5,900 here. Um, this would be the balanced approach way to go if you're looking at a complete balance. You want to go with Toronto one. Uh, you want to get Austin Matthews in there. Going with Pittsburgh two makes a lot of sense just because you can save so much money. Now, looking at Pittsburgh two specifically, we got Malkin who's giving you the shot volume early in the season here. This isn't popping up as fast as I would like. So we'll just jump over to the all skaters tab and we'll scroll down to Pittsburgh here again and have a look at Pittsburgh two. Um, Malkin giving you 18 and a half shots. He actually has elite Corsi slash shot attempts per 60 value here. Um, really like that. Same with Rust. He's giving you 16 shots per 60, 19.6 shot attempts per 60. And then you've got Jason Zucker here um, skating on power play two as well. 11.9 shots per game, which is awesome for a player at near min price. 25.9 shot attempts per 60. A lot of those shot attempts coming because he is not skating with Crosby. Latang, Rust, Malkin on power play one. He's kind of your leader of shots on power play two. He's taking a lot of shots there. 100 is just too cheap. Uh, no matter which way you go, uh, Zucker is going to be a top value play for me tonight. Uh, if you want to use him as a one-off, I'm definitely fine with that. If you're not using any Pittsburgh, I would want some exposure to Zucker at 3,100. It just helps build your lineups, helps you pay up for Shesterkin at goalie, and doesn't mean you have to double punt at uh, the defense position. For GPPs, Carolina and Washington stand out to me. I think Carolina, um, you know, like I said, they're a very good team overall, one of the best teams overall. They're not a team that goes out and scores, you know, five, six goals all the time. So they kind of more of a GPP for me. They're not as consistent with their upside in terms of they're not always going out there. Um, they win a lot of games 2-1, 3-2. They're not giving you the four or five goals, kind of that upside all the time. It's just not as consistent of upside. So they're GPP only for me. Um, I would rather turn to, at 18-1, I'd rather turn to Pittsburgh for sure, who's giving you that that value. i also rather turn to Pittsburgh, Colorado, or Toronto up here um, as a pay-up offense versus Carolina. Washington is a little bit cheaper, and that comes with Connor Brown being very cheap. Not someone I'm going to consider in cash games. Um, Ovechkin, I'm not ready to pay 8K for in cash games. It just hasn't been there in terms of the consistency of shot volume um, or offense, so it's going to be more of a GPP play because Vancouver's defense – Still has been a little bit weaker to start the year, so I am interested in Washington. They're probably going to be low-owned uh, for GPP, so that is a stack you may want to consider. It's going to save you a lot of money, and you can pair them easily with one of these top lines just because of the savings you're getting stacking them across the board. Toronto, too, I really like. I've talked about William Nylander and his elite shot volume, only 6,300. This is a, a balanced approach similar to what Pittsburgh, too, offers you um, in savings. Um, plus, you get that shot volume. Uh, Malgan's going to be GPP only at 44 because I do prefer uh, Ricard, Raquel, Jason Zucker, um, Lekkonen, and Bunting. If you're looking at cash for values, I'd rather go that route. So Malgan is going to be more of a GPP if you want to stack complete Toronto line too. So it kind of gives you a, a look at my top picks for now. Make sure to stay tuned to the sheet uh, later in the day. Ryan's going to have his picks highlighted on the center winger and defense tab as well as his top goalies. And then he's also going to have his top targets over here um, filled out with any notes that he has on any of those players throughout the day. And like I said, stay tuned to the depth chart tab as well as you're going to see DK and FanDuel line combo tab. And then we've also got the line combinations, power play combinations um, over here, line information on the left-hand side of the sheet on each and every tab. That's going to update throughout the day as the news comes in. Um, if you're new to Yager Bombs Fantasy Sports, you want to get access to the sheet, all of our top picks, rankings, um, our Discord chat. Make sure to head over to www.patreon.com slash Jagerbombs for 10 bucks a month. You can get yourself an NHL package. It gets you access to multiple coaches, all of this data that you see on the sheet, plus, like I said, all of our picks and rankings, our Discord channel. Um, and if you play multiple sports, 20 bucks a month will get you access to 10-plus sports right now. Uh, we've got four coaches in chat and a really awesome community in Discord. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll talk to you soon. Good luck, everyone.